In the land of opportunity, a day many African Americans thought they'd never see. The election of their first black president. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, tonight is your answer. For Barack Obama's adopted hometown, the celebration of a dream finally coming true after centuries of struggle. And to all those who have wondered if America's beacon still burns as bright, tonight we proved once more that the true strength of our nation comes not from the might of our arms or the scale of our wealth, but from the enduring power of our ideals, democracy, liberty, opportunity, and unyielding hope. Tears rolled down the face of civil rights veteran Reverend Jesse Jackson. An emotional moment too for Chicago's other famous resident, Oprah Winfrey. I'm just overwhelmed, you know, this, this wasn't just a vote for us, it was a vote for our ancestors, for the people who lived and died for the right for us to vote. This just means so much to me. My grandmother fought hard, my grandfather fought hard, I'm here with my parents tonight. Unbelievable experience. Up to a million people packed Chicago's Grant Park to share the euphoria of claiming the White House. His is now one of the greatest American stories. Four years ago, Barack Obama wasn't even a U.S. senator. Tonight, he stands on stage accepting his nation's highest honor, set to become the 44th president of the United States. He thanked his wife, Michelle, the next first lady, and their daughters. Sasha and Malia, I love you both more than you can imagine. And you have earned the new puppy that's coming with us to the White House. This historic day began early for Barack Obama, lodging his vote in Chicago. I voted. And still campaigning, a flying visit to two more states before returning home. After nearly two years of tough campaigning, the battle switched to TV screens across America. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. The underdog drew first blood. So an early lead for John McCain. But as results rolled in, Obama struck back. American networks wrongly called the 2000 presidential election tonight caution. We're just going to be extra conservative. But the results were overwhelming. And CNN can now project that Barack Obama, 47 years old, will become the president-elect of the United States. There will be young children in the White House for the first time since the Kennedy generation. The candidates had slugged it out, but so had the TV networks with spectacular gimmicks. A hologram reporter beaming across the country into an election studio. It's like I follow in the tradition of Princess Leia. Another appearing in a high-tech hall, which wasn't really there. States won, even being mapped out on an ice rink. Forty years ago, Martin Luther King told the world of his dream. It took a long time, but tonight African Americans don't need to dream any longer. At this defining moment, change has come to America. In the United States, Mike Amore, 7 News.